It's time to dive back into the pinnacle of football manager memes. Football memes. Zealand memes. The old Zealand subreddit. True story, this is the only Reddit not available for purchase by Todd Bowley. We're gonna go to top this month, and the first post is the return of the chosen one. The next Zealand save should be in the Danish sixth tier in the league called Zealand Series. I'm 121 years old. That would be great, but what I honestly find the best about this meme is the fact that they took the time to edit me onto this dude dressed as Spider-Man that I... They actually captured my actual physique, which I appreciate. Loans, the debut EP from artist Zealand Shannon, featuring Luke Edwards, Reese the Editor, Laura Woods, and Nick McCudi, releasing this Christmas. God, I look good. If you want to see more sexy pictures like that, check out my Instagram. Link is in the description. Peak male performance right there. Also, Laura Woods did talk about me on TalkSport because I uh, responded to her tweet about people in Football Manager having no life or something, and I said clearly she's never utilized a 4-2-3-1 gag and press properly. And it shows, and it does, Laura. It does. No flaws, just perfection. Guys literally want one thing, and it's disgusting. I'm not gonna lie, you gotta up your standards here. Well, I, this is this is paltry. This isn't even like, exempt from registration. Everybody under 21 in like any league with registration in the world is gonna be exempt from. Come on, versatility. I have versatility. Have you heard my vocal range? No. See, doesn't mean I'm great. That promotion feeling, well, how could this possibly be bad? Smiling, tra transfer budget of zero dollars. Th th this actually reminds me of our Twitch save right now where we just got promoted to the championship and we're sitting there and we're going, oh, we're in the championship. What's our transfer budget? Two million dollars, that's crazy. But then the other you know, guys at the top of the championship have a $60 million transfer budget, but it's better than nothing. This on the other hand is actually nothing. Our boys going to Europe, lads. <clears throat> Rafael Leai is the first Solomon Islands player to sign a professional contract in Europe. He's joined FK Velez Mostar of Bosnia. Oh, here we go. I should have clicked on it. He's a very special player and a testament to Solomon Islands' growth and the power of futsal, the game he grew up playing from the age of 12. This guy, for the very few people watching this video that don't know, is the Solomon Essie, the Solomon Islands Messi, and a legend of the game. He scored 91 goals in 44 matches with the Henderson Eels, which are the best team in the Solomon Islands, which is a nation of like 700,000 people. And he did that while he was like 16 to 18 years old, which against fully grown athletic adults is very impressive. I'm gonna do a whole video on this guy, so I'll end it there, but we are very happy to see one of our chosen football manager wonder kids making real world progress. But it's time to hit me with the memes when life is at its peak. Me in my room at 2 a.m., no job, no girlfriend, no direction in life, watching the team I took from the Swedish fourth division finally win the Champions League on FM23. This, this is this is too real for me. This is actually too real. I did this so much that it actually turned into my job. Everything else though, pretty bang on. Let's see, we have the letdown. Height, 6'4", good, just under two meters. Heading, 16, good. Jumping reach. Five. Okay, that's not physically possible. It's not. I just signed Karamoko Dembele. He's five six and he has like five jumping reach. You can't be a foot tall. Is he jumping down? Is he digging a hole in the ground? Hey, can you elevate for me? Sure, here. <sighs> How high'd I get? Have you seen Z's new video or watched the stream? Let's see. I, I think I know what this is about. Create a fake transfer rumor to prove a point about betting odds. Betting odds change to prove my point. Team actually makes an offer for the player. That really ruined the long-term part of our experiment with this male Asar, but we did change the betting odds with a fake transfer rumor, so that was cool. That video's linked right up there, if you don't know what it is or didn't watch it. How dare you? Guess who? 130 million pound striker from the Bundesliga. This is brilliant. Five million pound striker from the Italian second division, but I like this. Slaps out of car and hood falls off. Now, in Football Manager, this is almost always a better deal. I bought 39 year old Sergio Ramos from PSG for 675,000 in my Bodo Glimp save. Wait, 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 two things. Sergio Ramos still playing at 39, willing to play for Bodo Glimp. Only 43 minutes in on his debut, he got a red card. Some things don't change. He was also probably just furious with his agent for sending him north of the Arctic Circle at the age of 39. I don't have a Wonder Kid problem. How many is that? This is the world's 50 best Wonder Kids and this person has one, two, Three. My record is 11. They beat that. Four, five. A few moments later. 17, 18, 
19. They have 19 of the 50 best wonder kids in world football, according to Next Gen. I think Next Gen should look at a few more clubs. That or you're about to have the best team in the history of the sport. Me and my wife every day gets the phone to watch some FM content. It's not the guy that screams, right? It's not the guy that screams, right? I don't scream. Oh, no! scream. Don't know if this is a weird question. Should I avoid promotion? The answer to this is always no, because at the very worst, you end up getting a bucket of money and then coming back down. That being said, if you get promoted particularly a couple of times in a row, it will look like this. And that's just something that you're going to have to deal with in Football Manager. But it, the answer is always to get promoted. And if you really are like this, your expectations probably fight bravely against relegation. So even if you get relegated, you keep your job and you get a nice check. And then the next time you go up, you're more equipped to handle the level. Okay, which one of y'all did this? The National League South Records. Oh, is this real? Nick McCoody's on it. That's the striker from our save. No way. There's no way it's still there, too. <laughs> Did somebody just change the Wikipedia and it's still there? How do you change it back? This, this feels me. Oh, they added it. So most individual goals in a season is still Dave Tarpey, but top scorer in a season was just an added section and it's Nick McCooty. Who, which one of you did do this? Funny, but I mean, I guess so they left the original guy in there. It is technically true. It happened in our save. St. Nick McCooty, I see you. My 17 year old Belarusian left back with 19 aggression when I put get stuck in on. <laughs> I love that hat so much that it is sitting right here and I can put it on and it matches my Curacao jersey. That's right. This guy has a Curacao jersey and they make the World Cup in 2026. I'm going to look like a genius. Please not again. Ganato scoring for my FM team. Ganato scoring against my IRL team. Football manager scouting does not always work for you. He lasted less than five hours. Makuda resumes full training. Gaius Makuda injured. I didn't know Polisic had changed his name. That's really unfortunate. If Poland could play 11 goalkeepers, they would. We'd get Polish goalkeepers on one side and Polish field players on the other. Lewandowski would like a word, but he's not real, so this makes sense. Zealand, when his counterattacking tactic struggles against teams who don't leave space behind their defense. There's always space behind the defense. It's there, you can see it, it's just smaller, and we... We got FM'd, man. Slowly becoming Pep in every major final. What in the... I almost said what in the Guardiola is this, but that just means that you titled this appropriately, didn't you? Passing by like championships in the night. Bigger team getting relegated after poaching my star player. Me getting promoted after loaning their wonder kid. I actually, I just, I just had this if I save. I can't. I'm getting promoted and my Premier League senior affiliate, Middlesbrough, got relegated. So now all of a sudden we're in the same league and have to awkward meeting. I know nonsense center back after another 3-0 loss. Days without nonsense. <laughs> that deserved more upvotes. Get on the Reddit and upvote funny things like that more. That was brilliant. A lot of nonsense going on. This is the saddest thing to happen in my career as Wrexham manager Ryan Reynolds is stepping down. Well, in, in his defense, there's a bunch of new Deadpool movies that need to be made. Marvel or, or DC or whatever Deadpool is in. Also, he's got a lot to do. They're making 35 movies this year, so you got to get ready to rock and roll. You know, it's just not enough time. You still have McElhaney, though. So all that excitement for a few mid players. I'm pretty sure that is actually a live shot of me every time I get a five star youth intake the problem is the shot after the players actually come in is something like let me let me see if i can get an accurate artistic representation always good going to your fm save club i know that's why we're planning on going to taunton in april and i hope you guys will be able to make it and i hope you guys enjoy submitting these memes on the zealand subreddit i will be back in a few weeks to look at your latest handiwork right be sure to wear proper protection in there. If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe. And if you want to just watch more memes, that video is, is just full of more memes. Yes. Memes.